Hello viewers who have visited the Health Fitness 1047 channel. Today there is the following main news. One, Jessica Beale had a rare public outing with her son, Silas Timberlake, at the U.S. Open in New York. The actress and her nine-year-old son enjoyed a night of tennis together. Showcasing their stylish outfits, Jessica wore a cream-colored suit while Silas sported a Ralph Lauren top. Known for maintaining their children's privacy, the couple also has another son named Phineas. Jessica has expressed her joy in spending quality time with her boys, engaging in activities like wrestling and playing Lego. Meanwhile, Justin Timberlake reflected on fatherhood, emphasizing his commitment to supporting their children. This outing follows news of Justin's arrest for DUI in June, too. Gigi Hadid was recently seen vacationing in Sardinia, Italy, with actor Bradley Cooper and his family, marking a new stage in their relationship. They were accompanied by Cooper's daughter, Lee Desain, and his mother, Gloria Campano. The group appeared relaxed and comfortable, dressed casually for the trip. Following her split from Zayn Malik, Gigi expressed gratitude for their past relationship, while Bradley also ended his previous relationship with Irina Sheik before dating Gigi. Both have spoken positively about their past partners as they move forward. 3. Tom Hanks warns against AI-generated ads Tom Hanks has issued a public service announcement on Instagram. Warning fans about advertisements using his name, likeness, and voice to promote fake cures and drugs without his consent. He stated that these ads are created fraudulently through AI technology and urged people not to be deceived or lose their money. Hanks clarified that he only consults with a certified doctor for his type 2 diabetes treatment. This incident follows previous warnings he made regarding unauthorized AI representations of himself. Highlighting his concerns about the misuse of personal likenesses in advertising. In response to such issues, U.S. Senators have introduced the No Fakes Act to enhance legal protections against unauthorized use of individuals' images and voices, applicable to both living and deceased personalities. 4. Artem Chigvintsev, a professional dancer from Dancing with the Stars, was arrested on August 29 in Napa County, California, on a felony domestic violence charge after reportedly calling 911 and later canceling the request for paramedics. His wife, Nikki Garcia, was not reported to be directly involved in the incident. Following their second wedding anniversary celebration just days prior, Chigvintsev was booked at 10.40 a.m. and released later that afternoon with a bail set at $25,000. Despite the arrest, there has been no public comment from Chigvintsev regarding the situation. The couple began dating in 2019, got engaged in 2020, and married in August 2022. 5. Patrick Mahomes recently shared that Taylor Swift has developed a strong interest in football particularly as she prepares to watch her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, play for the Kansas City Chiefs this NFL season. In an interview, Mahomes mentioned that Swift has even started drawing up plays and asking insightful questions about the sport. He highlighted the positive influence of her presence in the NFL, noting how it inspires young girls to engage with football. Mahomes, along with his wife Brittany, has formed a close friendship with Swift and Kelsey, enjoying outings together and supporting each other at events. 6. Nicole Kidman's experience filming Baby Girl Nicole Kidman discussed her role in the erotic thriller Baby Girl, which portrays a CEO's affair with a younger intern. At the Venice International Film Festival, 
Despite feeling very exposed during production, she stated that she didn't feel exploited while filming sexually graphic scenes. Kidman emphasized that the film delves deeper than just sex, addressing themes of desire, secrets, and consent. She credited the female director Helena Rhine for creating a safe and liberating atmosphere on set, ensuring mutual care among the cast. While acknowledging the vulnerability and fear that came with acting in such an exposing role, Kidman described the experience as delicate and intimate. The film is set to be released in theaters on December 25th. 7. Adam Brody stars as a charismatic rabbi in Netflix's upcoming film Nobody Wants This, alongside Kristen Bell. The series, set to premiere on September 25th, explores the complex romance between their characters, Joanne and Noah, as they navigate challenges posed by their differing careers and family dynamics. The show's creator, Aaron Foster, draws inspiration from her own experiences with love, highlighting the difficulties of finding the right partner. All 10 episodes will be available for streaming on Netflix starting September 26. 8. Julianne Huff's Reflection on Sexuality In a recent podcast interview, Julianne Huff discussed her journey of coming out as not straight nearly five years ago. She emphasized that coming out is both vulnerable and empowering, stating that her understanding of love transcends labels like straight, gay, or bisexual. Huff shared insights from a conversation with her ex-husband, Brooks Leitch, where she revealed her sexuality but reaffirmed her choice to be with him. Huff reflected on how their marriage provided her with safety and stability, allowing her to voice feelings she had previously suppressed due to societal pressures. However, as she began to grow and heal, she recognized that their needs diverged, ultimately leading to their divorce in 2022. She described their relationship as crucial at that time, helping her reconnect with her inner child while also prompting her personal evolution. 9. Barry Cogan and Sabrina Carpenter appear to be back together after initial dating rumors surfaced in late 2023. The couple first met at Paris Fashion Week in September 2023, and their relationship seemed to solidify with public outings, including attending events together and Barry supporting Sabrina during her performance as Taylor Swift's opening act. However, Reports suggest that their romance may have an on-and-off nature. Despite this speculation, Barry reaffirmed their relationship on Instagram, promoting Sabrina's new album and sharing affectionate posts. Prior to their relationship, Sabrina was linked to Shawn Mendes and had a notable romance with Joshua Bassett. While Barry was previously in a relationship with Allison Kierens, with whom he shares a son, Brando. Thank <laughs> you.